Okay, it's a little darker than I intended. I wish I could have got out here just a few more minutes, but since I'm all the way out here, I'll see how this turns out and see if it's worth uploading. Uh, so this is the hill that I run up and starting from the top down, see it's right across from the, the lake. It's right across the street there. So it's very convenient uh, doing the running that I do around the lake. And then the lake also has the outdoor exercise equipment. But then I run this hill. I don't know if you could really see it. We'll find out. And as you can see or not see, it starts flattening out towards the top. And now I'm starting to get closer and closer to being able to sprint close to 100% all the way to that stop sign from the bottom. And I actually start, I'll show you, I'll just walk down the hill maybe. And I'll show you the, there's a, quite a difference as far as perspective goes. Like I might have mentioned, or you might have heard me mention in, um, in the last videos about how it looks com from up here compared to down there. It definitely looks like a hell of a hill, you know, from up here as far as uh, especially sprinting goes. My guess is it would be, a, I'm guessing at least 30 degrees, not much more though, probably. Maybe, maybe not. If, you, if you're if you able to actually see this and we'll, we'll check from down here as well, maybe you could let me know your opinion on how steep you think this is. And my guess is, uh, to the top of the hill where it starts flattening out is a little is definitely under 100 meters from where I'll show you where I start though too I don't start from the stop sign and I have a system you know as far as uh, you know being cautious of and starting I wait till there's no cars coming this way and no cars coming that way till I run up the hill just in case and so you gotta be real careful and I walk down a particular way I start on one side and then end on the other and when I rest I rest right here because if I rest right here then I can't see if there's cars coming along there I start from behind this uh, pothole or manhole right here and yeah see it doesn't look quite as uh, quite as gnarly from here compared to when we were up there but it's still a good hill. And this is what I've been talking about when I've been describing all the, the hill workouts and the repetitions. And this is the lake. And as you can see, I, this looks like you can see a lot better. It is a very nice sized lake for running around. I actually went to the track today and it was, uh, it went good. It was, it was mostly, incur it was uh, overall pretty encouraging. And I did, uh, I actually didn't, I, I had to flip my sleep patterns around uh, today just to be able to get out there when it was sunny though. It was still pretty cool overall today, a little windy. But um, ended up also doing, didn't have, uh, I won't go into too much detail, but I didn't have the uh, anaerobic or explosive energy today. Though I did a good workout overall just as far as quantity goes and there was a lot of uh, a lot of getting used to uh, transitioning to running on the track and i won't go into all the details but maybe another time but i'm definitely planning on getting out there a lot more like i mentioned it was a pretty overall is pretty encouraging though my expectations were not high at all i just kind of wanted to get out there and do it and so as you can see the um, I'll run on the concrete now at night because it's, uh, especially certain parts along here, along the dirt, it's far too dangerous. Um, not Nothing right here, but a, a little further down. And so I've been getting a lot more concrete running, which kind of, I think, helped me a little bit as far as uh, getting ready for the track workout today. As you can see, it's pretty nice, it's pretty cool as far as uh, we are. There's not, oh, it, there's never too many people out here. Though, like I mentioned in that one video, there's, there's a lot of oblivious people out here. A lot of uh, cell phone staring going on. Uh, further down, once I reach the end of this path, it's uh, there's the outdoor gym equipment, exercise equipment. Um, I'll probably turn the video off before we reach there, I guess. But uh, if we, uh, I've uh, 
mapped out the distance with a with a, wa a GPS watch, and it's just a little under a mile. I'm sure I've mentioned that many times before. So it's easy to kind of keep track of how far you go based on the laps. And that was an interesting thing too, uh, taking laps that were only a quarter of a mile long. Like when I was doing my warm up today and the energy was there, I, I felt really good cardiovascular wise. Like even in the sprints I was doing on the track and everything, I wasn't huffing and puffing or anything. I just didn't have the, uh, the energy in the way that I really needed it. Though that was fine, I did some work and it felt great. And yeah, I'll, just, I'll leave it there. And as you can see, we're getting along with the parts that are, you know, when it gets really dark, it's actually gonna get a little bit darker than this. I have the light on here. This is way too dangerous to be running as far as uh, at night. Though I've never fallen or never done anything except the times I turned my ankle and went back the other way. The one time. And Sorry, I had a little awkward moment. Looks like I'm talking to myself when somebody walked by. But um, it's also getting a lot darker quicker. So I'm glad to be back on like a more of an afternoon or getting back to a normal schedule where I'll hopefully be, you know, doing my workouts as far as running and getting out here and getting to the track at a decent hour rather than getting out here at like 8, 9, 10 p.m. Been staying up till probably and out anywhere between 8 a.m. And, and 10, 10.30 a.m. That's staying up too late. I, you know, just how, how I'm wired. I can't stay on a, a consistent sleep schedule. It uh, all eventually adds up eventually after a while. I'll get to one night to where I stay up way too late and can't get to sleep no matter what I try to do. And then by that, you know, for quite a few days at least I'll be up that you know way too late for many consecutive days and then I'll try have to flip it around by staying up instead of going to bed at 7 8 9 10 a.m. what I'll do is I'll just try to stay up the rest of the day and get to bed at like a regular hour that night hopefully being exhausted after not going to sleep so that's how that works and yeah the, the outdoor gym equipment is just straight down there Maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, let's walk the rest of the way. Uh, what else I got? Oh, yeah, as far as the uh, the, the track workout, um, it was the first time at the track since last year, and the workout went a lot better than the one I tried, the one or two that I tried to do at the track last year, so that was nice to feel too. And basically did a more I brought some stuff out I skateboarded over there it's not as long of a distance to get there as I thought so it should be a little more convenient than I, than I planned so that's good I did a mile and a quarter warm-up did some sprint drills and legs felt good lungs felt good you know breathing wise and everything just didn't have the uh, what I'm used to having I kind of uh, I don't know if any of you guys have actually slept too much and it, and it kind of wears, you know, it kind of affects you, but that's what I happened to do when I tried to catch up on my sleep and flip it around to waking up at a normal hour. Ended up uh, sleeping too much. I woke up too early this morning and then ended up uh, thinking, well, it's a little too early. I'll go back to sleep for a little bit. And when I went back to sleep, though, I ended up having craziest dream and it's really 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 bizarre kind of cool for the most part but a little weird there's a lot of antagonists in the dream too which happens uh, once in a while in these kind of dreams that I, those kind of dreams that I have like big time antagonists like people that just want to completely ruin your experience like it's really weird sometimes they're of the more vivid dreams or lucid dreams but that hasn't happened too often and that wasn't the case this time okay so that's the outdoor exercise equipment over there we might as well walk all the way to there check it out but when i went back to sleep and had that dream sometimes you know when you have those uh those kind of dreams they, they end up uh um kind of sucking you into 
the dream the dream state and the sleep state for too long and then i woke up it was a lot longer of a uh, was, i was ex expecting to sleep for another maybe just an hour or two and I ended up sleeping for like five hours more and so i kind of overslept kind of it's weird how that works i could sleep too much and, and feel kind of exhausted that that day and that's what happened that's you know that's never hardly ever happens to me because i never get to sleep like too much though of course when i try to catch up on sleep or flip it around that has happened before i just really needed to go out you know i sh you know it wasn't the best day to go out to the track and try to get that workout but i needed to do it because today's sunday and the next opportunity i'll have is on saturday because of school being in i can't don't or don't think I should try going out there, you know, and then now it's getting darker sooner too. No opportunities to go out there during the weekdays. It's not summer anymore, so I should have done that more in the summer. So this is the outdoor exercise pool. I don't know if you can see like a, places to do stretches and that's a back you can do some back exercise right there, like horizontal pull-ups. Got dip bar, this is where I do my leg swings. You can do some stretching on there. They got a bunch of just flat benches like that. So a couple of pull-up bars, a couple of rings. You can pull up some of those and other things. Decline. They have a chart here for beginners and handicapped people. I don't know if you've seen my plyometric video. I've done some stuff on here. And then of course the uh, lateral, lateral jumps right there. And there are, there's actually uh, different heights and stuff. So I could do box jumps, uh, plyometrics on different heights, you know, which is kind of cool and nice. And you got the ground, which is not too, you know, has a little bit of give, so it's not like, doesn't have too much impact, which is good. And that's it, I'll leave it there for now. Here's the rest, of, you know, there's another part of the lake right there. You could still run on the dirt for the most part. It's pretty safe and it's lit very well. There's also concrete. You could stay on concrete the entire time around the lake, or you could actually stay on dirt the entire time, but some parts of the, the dirt trail are harder than others, easier to run on. And, uh, it's definitely a lot different than running on a track. So I've been doing, you know, not over 99% of my training here but over the last year. So getting out to the track needed to just happen. You know, I, that's why I didn't have any expectations. I just needed to do some work out there. And it went well. I feel felt pretty good, and I have you know best uh, best ones to come. Anyways, thanks for watching.